Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms. Playing as Kong Rong. I forget which part this is, but uh, we are cruising along. We've got uh, gotten through quite a bit of this campaign. And uh, yeah, so we defeated uh, the faction. I forget his name now, but uh, defeated the faction that was over here. So we've got these territories that are a little bit um, away isolated from the rest of our, our territory. Uh, plan is to trade them if they become uh, problematic public order wise. Um, something else I just noticed as well is some of these territories we are going to start having problems with population. Um, so we might have to upgrade them uh, but that is going to cut into our food reserves a bit as well so we gotta got to be wary of that. Um, Right, um, the plan is to declare war on Cao Cao, and as far as I can tell, he's got uh, three full stacks. Um, he's got his main force here, he's got this force here, and then he's got a force down here as well. So three full stacks from what I can tell. Um, we've got um, We've got three armies, but they're not full stacks. So we've got to decide whether or not to push in this way and eliminate these two armies or to push down here. The thing is, it's more, there's more reward if we come down this way because um, we can come down here and capture this territory. Whereas uh, pushing this way, um, he hasn't captured any territory yet. Uh, though, oh, look at this. The yellow turbans have captured uh, this city. We might actually push that way. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll uh, make our decision. But uh, we need to uh, get these guys over here. And we need to get them replenishing as well. So probably take them out of take them out of force march next turn. Or at least take this one out of force march. She is pretty beat and banged up. But, uh, yeah. Alright. I don't think there's anything we can build. Yeah, getting getting these upgraded wouldn't be a bad idea. And I, I'm hoping that the public order balances out here eventually. Um, upgrading this does that. It doesn't increase the public order at all does not significantly increase the garrison. Alright, yeah, well, I mean, it looks like Sao Sao's probably going to take this. Um, yeah. Alright, anything, anything to do in diplomacy here? Any quick deals? I don't like, actually, the way the quick deals work in this. Not as... Not the... I, I find that the... The interface is not as clean as it is in uh, in Warhammer. I don't think there's anything else for us to do this turn. I'm trying to think if there's anything I've forgotten. Um, we could start upgrading some of these. Which province is this? This uh, behind. Uh, that would actually sort out the public order a little bit. Um, but I think we should save up to. Um, upgrade the uh, the main main settlement would actually increase the garrison by quite a bit too maybe may actually you know what maybe we will upgrade that all right um oh you know what i'd prefer actually the other one the stationed garrison because it's uh a di it's more more public order always good to go with more public order. Anyway, I think I'm going to stop rambling and hit the end turn. Yeah, it would be good to see Liu Bei move against Cao Cao. Well, look at this. Army's on the move. Yeah, our coalition is massive.
I don't know, it's a deceptively big map, the uh, Three Kingdoms map. Action destroyed, good, good. All right, what is the situation here? There was an other army, was it? Okay, there's, there they are there. They are on the move. The thing is, if we move south, um, it's going to leave this settlement open. And this is kind of an important settlement here. Plus 10 satisfaction faction wide. Grand Temple of Confucius. It's pretty, pretty important. All right, let's put you into... Into uh, regular march. Um, I'm going to have you... I think we're going to station her at uh, Pengcheng. Um, you don't need to, you should be able to replenish within one turn, so we're not going to, we're going to keep you in force march. Um, hmm, these guys, okay, they've got a, they've got a farm here, so they have taken this. Um, we might come over here and scoop this up before we deal with them. Our allies are getting smashed pretty bad. And Lube. Lube is in the area, but um, has not yet not yet engaged with the enemy. What's the garrison here? Garrison here is pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't want to split our forces too much. Basically, what I want to do is leave this force behind as garrison to replenish, and then Kong Rong and uh, this force will lead the way and then we'll have um, this force support them um, but uh, yeah it's gonna be let me see actually what was that attitude are you serious uh, Sao Sao is now friendly towards us that is uh, that is pretty crazy where is he? Yeah, he's actually friendly before towards us. Wow, that's uh, that's wild. That is same wild, wild stuff. All right, upgrade, upgrade this station garrison. Just get that uh, garrison built up. Um, how are we looking for? Here? Okay, we can just decrease the favor of Sao Sao again. God damn. Keeps, uh... Keeps gaining more Imperial favor. This is See, this is gonna be... Won't use this until we need to. Got quite a bit of food again. Uh, what was the, the mission here? Uh, duty to the hand, divert food supplies. Hong Zhu, at the start of the following, have at least 10 food. We've got 18. Hong Zhu. Let me see here. Hong Zhu, where are you? He's got two food, so let's, um... I don't want you on quick deal. Damn it. No. Alright, um, let's see here, offer food, offer eight, and request regular payments, oh my god, oh my god, it's, uh, worth very little to them. This food. Looks like we can get more. Yeah, we can get oh, get a lot more this way. Because 50 over 10 turns is only 500. This way we get 938. I mean, that's... That's not a lot, but uh, we're doing it for the uh, Imperial favor mostly. Because our as soon as we go to war with... Um, Sao Sao, our imperial favor 
is gonna take a nose dog for the following faction. I think he Yuan Tan is Yuan Tan part of our, our coalition. We have military access with him, so must be non aggression. Previously, we have a military access agreement with Yuan Tan that war with Tan Fu and Go. Yeah, it is really difficult to keep track of all the different factions in this. Um, yeah, just leave that. I think, uh, I think we're good. Just check the uh, public order of some of these spots. See, it's balanced there. Uh, still, still don't have the faction support here. But that will, um, that will improve. All right, I think we're looking good in the end turn. Where, where is Lu Bei going? What, what are you doing? Your enemies are over here. Yeah, the last thing we, we want is to engage all three of those armies at the same time. We want to try and split up Cao Cao's forces and take them on separately. But I think it, it's probably not a bad idea to scoop up um, this yellow turban um, rebellion settlement here first, and then we can um, we can take on Cao Cao himself. Ooh, Han Fu. These two are all for it. These two are against it. We're the deciding vote here. Usually I go with... Um, treasury is pretty high. It's interesting. You can see what, what's in their treasury. I'm going to reject this one. I mean, I feel like our coalition has grown enough as it is. Gaining favor, all right. That'll help our imperial favor a bit. Okay, so our um, looks like our food deals, our the other food deals that we had, have now run out. Now so down to eighty-five. Yeah, we we'll just keep working on that. Take you out of force march, and let's get prepared to hit this. Um. Got this dude here as well. Can camp. And then can we get you into the settlement here? Yeah, perfect. That should increase the replenishment a little bit. Population, two turns, three turns. Yeah, so they'll be back, back to full strength fairly soon. And then we can um, we can use the three armies hopefully to uh, to crush these guys. Uh, by these guys, I mean the uh, Cao Cao and his friends. Um. All right. Got up here. An upgrade. Yeah, I. I Prefer the station garrison, even though it's it's a lot more expensive, but that additional public order is pretty big. All right. All right. We need to make some. Uh, yeah, again, station garrison would be good. We need to make some some deals here. Get our income up. Uh, we've got lots of food. Who's? Let's go with the people that like us the most first. Let's probably get a better deal with them. Let's see if we can find somebody that's low on food. Everybody, 
Oh, goodness gracious. Everybody seems to have a lot of food here. Uh, this dude only has zero, so let's try him. Let's offer 10. And regular payments. Ah, oh, god damn, this guy doesn't want to... Uh, It's not too interested in in food trade either. My my list got mixed up here a little bit. Yeah, zero food, one food. Everybody's got food. All right, this guy we might be able to get a little bit of food from. All right, go with five, and God, yeah, again, that's really, really not a great deal. This dude's got minus three food. He might. All right, here we go. Um, how much food do we have? 18. All right, we'll offer him 10. And let's see what we can get here. All right. Looks like we can get a decent amount from this bloke. I guess it depends too on how much how much cash they have. All right, there we go. Hmm. There we go, seven ninety five. So that's that's a much better deal, and I think that's the only deal we'll go with because that brings us down to uh, to eight food. So which is not not a lot, especially considering next turn we're we're gonna be scooping up some territory that will use up some of our food. But definitely does help get our uh, our income up a bit. Nice. But yeah, hopefully this uh, potential expansion into South South territory will will help help with our income a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit dangerous <laughs> that how um, clustered their armies are there. There's three of them right there. Well, like I said, we'll take out the yellow turbans first, and then we'll uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do with Sao Sao. Uh, because by the time by the time we've got the yellow turbans sorted out, um, our third army should be uh, should be fully replenished. Oh god damn! Coalition became a military alliance. Yeah, it would be nice to catch catch an army in force march like that. Or in, in the in the settlement as well. Be nice to catch them there. All right, let's. Uh, oh shit, are you serious? You don't. Oh yeah, you just got enough movement there. 
Corps against the faction. Yeah. Show me, DJ. No, Hoba. And let's bring you up. Actually, what, uh, two more turns till you're replenished, two more turns till you're replenished, yeah. Uh, I wonder if we should switch some of these over to artillery pieces here as well. Hmm. So we have lots of artillery. God damn it, it's a little bit... A little bit too, uh... A bit too condensed over here. All right, three thousand units. Um, we could delegate this, but predicted casualties medium. Um, we want to be in good shape for next turn because next turn is probably when we're going to declare war on Sao Sao. And as far as we can tell, it's just the three armies that Sao ha Sao Sao has, but could potentially be more. Let's hope it's not more. Alright. Yeah, this is why it's um, medium casualties. We're taking on a, uh, a settlement here, though not walled. Uh, I've got a feeling that they will um, they will come out after us because we've got artillery here. Spreads out a little bit. All right. Oh, we don't have the, uh, we don't get to put a tower down here. Reinforcements up here. We're just out of range of those towers. I'm lucky <laughs> that I positioned them where I did. Come up over here. Attack this flank. So far, so good. I feel like we need more uh we need more archers in the army, army, army. we've got too much uh too much 
How much infantry now? Fire so good, but these guys are moving up. How are we doing for uh, yeah ammunition? Crossbows are nice. Got lots of ammo, so. Here to protect this flank for now. Position there. The time being, how long before you guys get up here? Mm. See if we can distract some of them with this dude. While we wait for our spears to get into position. Actually, in the meantime, go for those yellow turban archers. Using the cavalry over here, but uh, can't be bothered. Get into there. Yeah, I mean, it's a big force that we're up against. Um, But I don't think it's uh, greatest of quality. Artillery is making its way. All right, you pull back. Get out of range of those uh, those towers. God damn, we got these guys. Uh, the People's War Band. I'm surrounded there. This dude. Needs to those guys out. Alright, getting close to the army losses here. You shoot at them. Yeah, I probably could have made some better use of our cavalry here. We could, have, could have done it a little bit, but um, I didn't want to bring them in range of those towers, though. Yeah, Alright, you back up. You've taken enough damage as it is. Yeah, I really wish... I know I say this every freaking battle, but I wish that you could um, toggle this, that you could hide it. Yeah, the toolbar here would just it will make my heart so happy. Let's back up. He's fucking this uh, people's war band man. They put up a good fight here. They're practically surrounded. Right, it's a good little warm up battle for us before we take on Sao Sao's forces. Yeah, we're probably not going to be completely replenished before next turn. We might want to wait a turn before we declare war on Cao Cao. Should be it. Here we go. Easy game, easy life. We've got an army that's about 5,000 strong.
万民之声，不可小觑。吾等大义必将降临此城。News of your great deeds has spread far and wide.、Uh, with your warriors shouting your name and your banners flying across the lands, your legacy is writ large upon China. China, should you wish it, you may now ascend to even greater levels of power. Recent your progression from faction summary screen allows you to increase the capacities and unlock more diplomatic. All right, look at this. We have become a marquee.、Um, I want to finish this one off.、Uh, increases satisfaction and. Oh my God! Minus fifteen percent upkeep reduction. Woo! Beautiful. All right. So what else do we want? Um, I wouldn't. Ah,、uh, trade agreements would be good. Not crazy about the assignments. Trade agreement. Let's see if we can get some some spies going, and let's go with trade agreements because we can increase our um. Increase our income with trade agreements. Beauty, your power increases.、Uh, greetings, Marquis. Your、uh, position and influence has grown by your actions, and you and now you should use this、uh, to better inform and illuminate the people of China to banish the darkness and bring lasting. Well, I don't see、um, lasting peace happening anytime too anytime soon. The war on the horizon. Yeah, Sao Sao is taking quite a bit of territory here. Quite a bit of territory. All right. Um. Demolish that. Demolish that. All right. Oh shit, we're down to two food. That's not good. That's not good at all. Damn it! We、uh, traded away all our food. <laughs>、um, shoot, that is not good.、Um, what kind of settlement is this? Farmland. So we've got some farmland up here. So maybe we come up this way first.、Um, the plan is going to be to destroy this army. Um, you are still two turns away from fully replenished. You're three turns. Yeah, I, I think we should replenish here first.、We、took a little bit more damage there than um, than I was expecting. Hopefully, Sao Sao just sits there. Um, I would really like to pick these guys off though. Um, we'll see where they're positioned. Um, next turn. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the diplomacy and see if. We can get any more trade deals. Trade, trade agreement. Trade agreement. All right, he's up for it.、Um, and what? Come to no end. The difference between trade agreement and trade monopoly. All right, we'll go trade monopoly, and yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the、uh, what the difference is.、Oh, get a little bit of squeeze a little bit of cash out of them as well. For a lot of cash, he's got 12k, so he doesn't doesn't seem to mind. 1500, I will take it. All right, good, good. Oh, we haven't.、Uh, To unlock the research for that, but let's、uh, let's start getting these built up. I think.、Um, up here in the north,、um, just because 
our armies aren't up here, it would be nice to have additional garrison forces here. Yeah, look at this. This that's not an easy easy garrison to crack. Uh, should be able to defend against a pretty strong pretty strong force. All right, income is coming in pretty good, but our food yeah, diplomacy minus 26 food minus 22 food disruption what is the food disruption that's interesting hmm. occupation relationship killed in battle diplomacy development back to develop Yeah, I'm not quite sure. Gaining favor, dominant strategic threat. Nice 20 diplomatic attitude with most fashions. Strategic threat. Interesting. Uh, down to minus one. That's not too bad. Faction support is at 66 out of 60, so that should balance out soon. Most of our province, it seems the uh, the public order is okay. All right, I think we can um, we're gonna end the turn here. Question is, do we declare war on Cao Cao next turn, or should we wait and replenish a little bit before we declare war? I guess it depends on where his armies are positioned. Oh, look at this. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. I hope we can reach the farmland. Is he? They just attacked there. They suffered some damage. And we could use that farmland as well. Yeah, if we could knock out those two armies in one shot, though it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough battle because the the farmland usually has a big garrison. All right, our food went up a little bit. Um, as, At a diplomatic gathering, you are discussing various matters with two dignitaries, one of whom is well-kept and dignified, and the other who looks unwashed and disheveled. When you say goodbye, the uncouth man offers his hand, whilst his counterpart remains stoic. You must give some gesture to one of them. Were this nonsense distinguished? Relationships? Or... Okay, so we got direct or distinguished. I think we're gonna go with uh, Zhang Xingyang since they're um, take the side of the uh, Kong Rong's wife. All right, so what are we looking at here? So they're beat to hell. This army's in force march, and what do we have for? Yeah, so it is a big garrison. Um, hmm. How much movement do you have? Alright, we've got enough movement to get there. Uh, you do not, however. Uh, though on Force March you can get there. Hmm, interesting situation here. Uh, what do we got for reforms? We'll get back to that situation in a second. Unlocks. Oh, man, I wish... Uh... I don't know what building that is. Unlocks building. Agritol. If I click on it, it 
I don't know. Okay, livestock estate. What about this one? Or those two buildings? Because we want to um, we want to be able to upgrade upgrade these. This is irrigated farms and food trader. Grain storage, government support, workforce. All right, I think what we want to do is this one. Gonna take a risk. Left click to pin. Oh, left click to pin to the panel. Grain estates and irrigated paddock fields. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. Irrigated firms. Ah, no, maybe not. Farming estates. Yeah, it was irrigated paddy fields, which I guess is... works. I guess that's the... Um... It must be a building for farms. What's this one? Bamboo timber storehouse, pine timber storehouse. What's this? Fishing fleet wharf. Winnowing machine. Blue timber farming estates. Pine trader. Irrigated paddy fields and crane estates. Farming estates? Could that be the one? Food market, tea plantation, tea garden. God damn. Alright, what are we... My apologies, guys. <laughs> Should have done this... Uh... All right, what I want, we've got irrigated farms. I want, okay, I want farming estates. What is going to allow us to build farming estates? Green estates, irrigated. Farm tool distribution. Fishing fleet wharf. I don't, uh, I don't freaking see it here anywhere. Pine trader. Okay, here we go. Farming estates. There it is. There it is. Farming estates. So, crop sharing. Shit, does that mean we have to go both these routes? Alright, well, let's issue this one, and then... So, share cropping is what we want to work towards. Yikes, that was much more difficult than I, um, was intending. Alright. Let's negotiate here. Diplomatic treaties. Um, Lube. Alliances. Trade and marriage. War. I, I thought there was a way to join... Transition coalition, strengthen the bonds between you and your allies and become a military alliance. Uh, these two are kind of... Shoot, I thought there was a way to join join the war against Cao Cao. But I guess not. Um, because he, he offered uh, earlier, Liu Bei offered like a couple of turns ago. Actually, it was a number of turns ago now, but... Um, Alliances, diplomatic treaties.
Yeah. Oh, you know what it must be. Request military support. That must have been what he did. Requested military support. Ah, I see. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to have to declare war on them. But, um, yeah, a little bit of a dicey situation. I think we're going to throw our, our full force against them here. Um... How much movement uh, how much movement do you have um, I don't know if he can withdraw in force march I hope he can't um let me see here diplomacy let's uh I'm so negotiate all right war has been declared knowledge How's uh, his imperial support right now? 87. Or is this 96? Alright, so. Let's see here. Let's encircle the city. First off. Got enough movement to do that, Kongrong? This seems to have more movement than Kongrong. Encircle the city. Shaya! And let's force march you over here. Yeah, the thing I'm worried about is he he'll run off, but I don't I don't know if he can actually withdraw in force march. I don't think he can. Um but yeah, we'll destroy him with the three combined armies here. Casualties low. We could um, just auto resolve this, but I think we probably should fight it. We can't. Um, the thing is, we can't really risk. Um, oh man, look at the cavalry he's got. That's uh, that's some dangerous cav right there. What I was gonna say is, we can't really risk um, taking too much damage here. You know what? Auto resolve might have been the uh, the better the better result. To be honest, just because the auto resolve um, gives you the full power of your ah um, oh shit, our reinforcements are coming in in separate spots. Auto resolve gives you the full power of our of your of your forces, um, whereas here in this situation, we're not going to get the. Uh, the full power of our forces because that the whole army is not going to be able to get on the field at the same time. Just want to keep you guys backed up. I want to get these reinforcements on the field in time and you guys Keep an eye on them. Um, hmm. <laughs> what to do with our... Do you guys have fire arrows? No. Fire mode. Yeah, our reinforcements coming in from separate spots. Kind of uh, problematic. Oops. It's gonna put you out there and tower in behind. Alright, yeah, just try and get our forces uh, organized here, try and get our um, reinforcements down to help out in time. Alright, so Kong Rong over here. come this way yeah 
uh, see I've We're not gonna get our full <coughs> full force on the field. And yeah, the we're missing one of our retinies, basically. are moving slow as cold molasses here. I want to just move you guys there. And we'll leave. Leave some spears behind to help protect them. They're on the move. Alright. Yeah, we still got more reinforcements to come on. This is a bit dangerous here for our archers that are coming over there. Um, this dude and this dude, you stay behind here, protect them. I mean, at least the AI is moving kind of slow here. It's giving us the, uh, Opportunity to uh, get into position. Alright, and you four get into position here. Yeah, had they rushed us, they might have been able to overwhelm our forces where they're positioned. Um, you guys start shooting at this dude here. I don't know. Oh wait, you're not in range of him. Shoot at them. There's a lot of cavalry. I'm gonna shift you guys a little bit. Hmm. I want you guys over here, um, because we might have to protect these uh, these archers. Their cav is kind of snooping around there. Let's try and get in position there. There we go. All right, looking good, looking good. Uh, dealt a little bit of damage to them with our uh, artillery here. How many kills do you get? Thirty-three <laughs> and fifty-one. Not bad. But high-quality kills, uh, taking out some of their cav. All right, yeah, you guys stay put there and. You guys can start making your way over here now. Try and get this artillery in position too.
All right, they're moving slowly. Yeah, I mean, ideally we want to get through this with very little casualties here. Um. Don't like having these guys in the woods here. Let me get you guys down here. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's just line up there because it looks like they're going to attack with their cav here. I want. It'd be nice to get them into position and get some shots off before they get their charge. That's hard to see what's happening. I'm gonna turn around. Be able to smash them pretty easily. Alright, I think we're set up pretty well. Pretty good. There we go, that's what I want. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get this grouped up the way that I wanted. There we go. I'm sure you guys are all on guard mode. I think with you guys. And you guys as well. Back it back up. Let the uh, let the archers do the work here. Use you guys as a line to defend them. God, this is why I love Three Kingdoms, man. You don't get battles like this in some of the other Total Wars. Just massive, massive battles. If you can take out those archers. Uh, we got some archers sneaking around over there as well. Um, they'll actually maybe send you three around to get them. We didn't, okay, we gotta and do something about these guys. There we go, this should... Not ideal charging into those units, but um, gotta protect the archers here. Yeah, I don't know what the rules are in terms of for, for three kingdoms whether or not um, what what happens with an army that's in force march I don't know if they're completely wiped out automatically I'm not entirely sure The army is automatically destroyed. Got a little bit in behind there. Hang with you. Oh yeah. Looking good. Looking good. Finish him off. Guys move up a bit. Get some retreating forces here. You in there. Yeah, we want to destroy these two armies that are in the settlement, like the one army that's in the settlement, the one army that's outside the settlement, and then prepare to, uh, we want to be ready to attack Cao Cao 
next turn we'll lay siege to his uh, the settlement that he's in. Hopefully he stays put for us. Oh, beautiful. The artillery. Just in time. Uh, him. Ah, shit. Alright, back over here. I'm going to deal with him. And there. Yeah, we we'll let this archer unit isolated there. Alright, yeah, there. I think this battle is pretty well over. Oh, I'm just wondering if we should uh, run them down a bit. Because I'm not sure what happens here after this, though a lot of them are... ...more or less escaped. I think that I think that's, that should be fine. Decisive victory to take it. Uh, what did we take for casualties? Still in good shape. We've got a boat. Seven. We've got over 7,000 troops. He's down to 500. Uh, a couple of them took a bit of damage. Yeah. 182. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, not bad. Thought we got into pretty good position there. Yeah, Imperial Favor lost. Minus six. That's okay. Um, and Sillery's gained. Age 57. I was going to say we could employ him. Um, we'll actually release him and we'll ransom those captives. Actually, shit. The replenishment would have been nice. You have enough movement to finish them off. He might have enough movement to finish them off. But um, I think uh, I think this is where we're going to leave it for now, guys. We've got, um, we've got some interesting uh, developments here. Um, we can wipe these two armies out. And then if we can uh, besiege Cao Cao down here, hopefully he doesn't run off. Um, then we can uh, potentially, in you know, two turns, really diminish the strength of his force. And then all of his lands down here should be fairly easy to uh, capture. Um, though, they can replace their forces pretty quickly in this. But we'll, um, we'll see how it goes. Um, off to a good start. Reignite the war with, uh, with Cao Cao. We'll continue next time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Ragnarok, signing out.